most of us take the stoves we cook on for granted, but that's not true in many parts of the world where families cook over open fire pits or rudimentary wood-burning stoves. The smoke and toxic gases from the stoves create health problems, and it can mean wasting precious wood resources as well. Colorado State University is tackling this problem at its engines and energy conversion lab in Fort Collins. It is actually a, a huge human health problem. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of attention. Uh, it's also a huge environmental problem. As populations have grown and as cooking has uh, uh, obviously followed with that, uh, we have deforestation, um, we have unsustainable harvesting of, of wood, and that's leading to global impacts on uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So these combined health and environmental problems, they're really at their heart a uh, combustion problem. They're an energy problem, and that's really what we work on. And at our laboratory, we try and focus on large global problems around energy and combustion and, and areas where we can have an impact. The scale of the problem has outgrown the scale of the solution. We now have you know, easily half a billion people that desperately need a cook stove. So the solution, uh, from our perspective, was a market-based approach that looked for large-scale, large-volume manufacturing um, uh, uh, solutions that could be um, implemented in many different countries, adaptable to local cooking styles, and uh, with core technology uh, developed at a large scale that was highly manufacturable. And so that's what uh, this stove represents. We've developed lots of stoves here at the laboratory. Um, but a stove like this is a real balance between um, cost and efficiency, balancing the affordability of the device and the intervention with the needs of the people. And so a stove like this will have about a 50% reduction in fuel consumption compared to traditional cooking methods, and anywhere from a 50 to 70% reduction in the amount of uh, harmful emissions that are released while cooking. We have d gone through a lot of work to make this a very manufacturable device and a very low cost device. So this retails, for example, in India for around 25 US dollars. Um, it has a metal combustion chamber that we've patented that contains no nickel. Uh, nickel is the expensive ingredient in stainless steel. But despite that, has very good uh, durability and performance. And we've done this in partnership with EnviroFit International, a spin-off company from the laboratory that develops the markets, uh, gets the customer feedback, tells us what we can do to improve the designs of the stove. Uh, we work in concert with them. And as a result, about 10,000 of these sol uh, stoves are sold each month around the world, places like India and Sub-Saharan Africa and South America. And so we now have Lots and lots of people breathing cleaner air, families breathing cleaner air. This would be similar to something we're replacing, um, although this would be on the more advanced end. Uh, so this would be a artisanal improved stove, a charcoal stove. Um, it has some, certainly some benefits to it. It's insulative. Um, it'll be a little bit more efficient than typical stoves uh, that are used. Uh, however, it's ceramic, and so it can crack, it can break, it doesn't have the same life. And it is dependent on scaling up local artisans. Um, we'd rather create jobs by, by hiring salesmen to go sell lots and lots of products uh, because you're limited on how many artisans can produce products and at what rate they can produce them, and frankly, at what quality they can be produced.